trendsetters. I'm Tyler with Bike Groomer, and I'm going to intro Jason's, aka the Gravel Cyclist, intro ride of the Shimano GRX Di2. We're out here in Whitefish, Montana, riding some epic single track, something he is totally unaccustomed to because he doesn't own a mountain bike, but it's super rad. And we're going to let Jason take it away with his first ride review of the new Shimano Gravel Group. Before I show the group in action, I'll give a little background on GRX. Shimano saw a need in the market for a group set designed specifically for the rigors of gravel sands compromises. They did a lot of research in areas such as ergonomics for shifting and braking, and arguably the most important, gearing. Rather than being a hodgepodge of road and cyclocross parts, Shimano has designed GRX to be a unified drivetrain system available in mechanical or DI2 and one by or two by. One could substitute parts from other components in the Shimano lineup, but GRX works best as a whole. One example of this, the GRX two by crank has a different chain offset, meaning it is recommended you pair the GRX crank to the GRX specific two by front derailleur, whose cage is designed to handle the 17 tooth gap between the 48 and 31 tooth chain rings. Another example is the difference between the 1x and 2x rear derailleurs. Both feature a clutch and tension varies between the two due to the different needs of one chainring versus two. In the case of 2x, clutch tension is less, but the 2x rear derailleur features a longer cage and bigger pulleys to keep the chain tension because of the varying effective chain size. Here's a demonstration of the clutch in action across some washboard and potholes. The levers are comfortable to rest one's hands on and grip two fingers around. Because of the higher pivot point of the GRX Di2 levers, it is easy to affect one or two finger braking from the hoods. The brake lever surface is textured, so there is less chance of messing up a shift wearing gloves or no gloves as I prefer. For those already familiar with Di2, the shift buttons work in the same manner and can be customized. The shifter design accommodates multiple hand positions well, and on the drops, one finger braking is easy. Reach can be adjusted, and note the textured hood grip and pronounced hook of the GRX Di2 shifter. This provides a solid grip on the shifter, integrates perfectly with the higher pivot point, and helps eliminate the chance of the shifter being bumped out of your hand. The button on the inside of the shifter provides functionality to a Garmin cycling computer. Providing the appropriate Shimano Di2 module is installed, you can scroll through the Garmin screens without taking your hands off the handlebar. Tyler's bike was equipped with a dropper seat post, which is activated by this lever on the drops. How you actuate it is a matter of personal choice, but here Tyler demonstrates a couple of different methods. Love them or hate them, the GRX Subbrake cross top style brake levers are hydraulic and provide for more hand positions whilst braking and are super handy if you enjoy riding the tops of the bars as much as I do. They are sold individually and feature reach adjustment. When paired with the Di2 remote satellite shifters, you can easily shift gears and have brakes close at hand. The Shimano Media Camp took us onto some amazing gravel roads around Whitefish, Montana and included the Whitefish Trail Network. Within the first turn of the crank, my brain gave no additional thought to shifting and braking. Both functions were comfortable and simple, and like every Di2 bike I've ever ridden, every time the shifting is just so, so good. This was important because the Whitefish Trail Network placed me outside of my comfort zone. As Tyler of Bike Room alluded to in the intro, I don't own a mountain bike, so my goal was to ride the trails as safely as possible. With that said, the experience was an absolute blast, even on a gravel bike that was likely not designed for riding around in the woods, and all the while, I continually fight off gear shifts to keep my legs happy. The GRX Di2 shifters and derailers are absolutely sublime. On the subject of bikes, I was aboard the new Pivot Vault, so watch the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for a review coming later. Finally, I'll be riding the Shimano GRX group set over the long term, so you can expect to hear more from me how it holds up over my local and not so local gravel roads. 
Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.